In this video, we are going to show you how to implement shift left testing using Loadrunner Developer and UFT Developer. Shift left testing is becoming more and more popular in the software industry. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a common software product. Shifting left means to start testing as early as possible and to continue testing, ideally throughout the entire life cycle. This allows you to fix bugs early and fixing bugs during implementation is considerably less expensive than fixing bugs within production. We will show you how you can implement shift left testing for your software products. We're going to use UFT developer and Loadrunner developer to easily combine functional testing and performance testing. And all this can be done within one single IDE. Combining functional and performance testing provides some major advantages. It ensures that an application works accurately and as intended. It shows how the performance of an application progresses over time and with every code change. And this again provides a more holistic view on the quality of an application. We've already set up our environment for this demo. We first started Eclipse and installed the Eclipse UFT Developer plugin. Next, we installed Loadrunner Developer and the Proxy Recorder. Loadrunner Developer is the load testing tool that now can easily be integrated with UFT Developer. And finally, we've installed InfluxDB and Grafana, the tools that will allow us to visualize our performance measures. Everything is prepared, so let's switch over to Eclipse. I'll be using this UI test named Single UI Test Java. The first step is to click Capture HAR file. This starts the Loadrunner Developer Proxy Recorder, as we can see here in the console. Next, I execute the UI test. Once the execution starts, the Proxy Recorder captures the traffic and stores it in a HAR file. Here we can see that the test is being executed in Firefox. To stop the proxy recorder, I click into the console and press enter. And here we can see the HAR file that has been generated. Now we're going to create the Loadrunner developer script. So I make sure the HAR file is selected and I click generate Loadrunner developer script. And these are the files that have been generated. I open the file main.js. This is our performance test script. I can now adapt the script to my likings. In this case, I'm adding two transactions to group certain calls. Next, I open the file scenario.yml. Here I can configure the workload of the load test. When I'm done, I save my settings. Now we are going to execute the test long running UI test. Here in Chrome, we can see that the test is being executed. At the same time, I start the performance test by clicking Run Loadrunner Developer Script. When I open Grafana, we can see that the load is being generated. Once the test execution is completed, I switch back to Eclipse and click UFT Developer and View Last Run Results. When I filter by the term finish, I can compare the completed runs and we can clearly see that the execution time has increased, but at the same time, all test runs have been finished successfully, which shows that our tested application still works, even when put under load. The great advantage of shift left testing with UFT developer and Loadrunner developer is that we can handle everything in one IDE. Application development, functional testing, performance testing. For this demo, we used Eclipse as IDE, but UFT Developer also supports IntelliJ, Visual Studio, and many more. Now it's your turn to give it a try and start accelerating shift-left testing using Loadrunner Developer and UFT Developer.